11.3, defining use probability. Objective, find the likelihood that an event will occur. Probability is an event and it's a number between zero and one. Probability of zero means the, occur will, the event will not occur, where a probability of one is an event that is certain to occur. And then we have probabilities all the way in between. Theoretical probability is the probability that the number of outcomes in event A divided by the total number of outcomes. So event A, one, two, three, uh, number of outcomes, favorable, and the total number of outcomes is going to be eight altogether. So we say this is a theoretical probability, the idea that this will, will likely happen. Uh, using die or cards are uh, an example of uh, theoretical probability. In part A, it says find the probability of rolling a five. Okay, and uh, we know that the probability of five is the favorable since there is one five on a six sided die and there are six sides that the probability of getting a five is one over six or one six. We can leave that as a fraction. The probability of rolling an even number, which is two, four or six, the probability of that, there are three favorable events out of six, so we say the probability is one half. Your turn. And here's the answer. Your turn. And here's the answer. Let's take a look at how probabilities use with permutations or combinations. Suppose we had a community event where we had a talent contest and there are seven musicians scheduled to perform. Part A, what's the probability that the musicians perform in alphabetical order? So probability of alpha or. Now alpha order will only be one out of all the permutations that can take place. So a permutation of seven chosen seven at a time. Seven out of seven at a time is seven factorial. Let's go ahead and put that in our calculator, seven factorial. Go to math. And the answer is one over 5,040. Now let's take a look at probability of having two friends when you have four friends in the contest. So um, the order is not important. So this will be a combination of, of seven being chose twice. So these are all the ways that two can be chosen. And the favor will be the combination of out of your four friends, two will be chosen. So let's go ahead and put that in our calculator. We're gonna to go to math, probability, and let's do the numerator and that'll be a six. Now let's do the denominator. And the denominator will be 21. Let's continue to reduce, and that will be two. Three goes into six two times, three goes into their seven. So this will be um, two sevenths of the probability. Okay, your turn. And here's the answer. Uh, let's take a look at experimental probability. This is when you perform an experiment and we take a look at uh, the number of trials where A occurs out of the total number of trials. In this experimental probability, we figure out the number of adults uh, and their ages. And this is all the uh, numbers that we get out of there. So we want to find the probability of someone that's um, at least, at least 40. Okay, so we want the um, total number of uh, uh, people, in number of adults. So we're gonna take all of these numbers here and uh, that'll, that'll give us our total. And our total is 3,516. Now we're going to find the number of adults that are at least 40. And when we add up all those numbers, that's 1,089. And we can now round and that'll be 0.310. And that's the probability of someone we choose at least 40 years old. Your turn. And here's the answer. 
Let's take a look at geometric probability. Some probabilities are found by calculating a ratio of the two lengths, areas, or volumes. Such probabilities are geometric probabilities. What's the likelihood to get 10 points or 0 points? So the probability of getting 10 points. That's going to be the total area. And this is going to be the favorable area. So the total area is the area of the whole square, 18 by 18, which is 324. The favorable area is this area that gains you 10 points. It's a circle with a radius of 3. The small circle with a radius of 3 is 9 pi. And let's go ahead and put that in our calculator to figure out the answer. And I get uh, point. 0, 8, 7. Now let's figure out the probability of getting a 0. And it's the same formula, favorable area of a total area, so it's 324. The favorable area, though, is this black area. And to get the black area, you're going to have to take the total area, which is 324, and you're going to have to subtract this big circle to get the leftover. And the big circle has 3, 6, 9, a radius of 9. So this is going to be 81 pi. So let's go ahead and put that in our calculator. And the answer is uh, 0.215. So the question is, are you likely to get 10 points or 0 points? And the answer is you're likely to get zero because that has a greater probability than you trying to get uh, the target inside. Your turn. And here's the answer.